Good morning. Welcome back to Empower Black Doula. My name is Keisha. I am a birth and postpartum doula, childbirth educator, mentor. If you're ever interested in mentorship, remember the link is in my bio to sign up for your 15-minute Zoom call. Today's video is going to be about contractions and um, pressure during labor. As somebody that asked a question on a few videos ago about contractions and pressure and um, what that meant. So I thought like, why not? Let's make a whole video dedicated to it. So let's get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. If you see me looking down on my phone, I'm looking at notes. Okay. Mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> All right. So when you are in labor, the pressure will change as you gradually get to um, delivering a baby. Um, I do want to let you guys know that when you hire a doula, your doula specifically knows different techniques and things like that to do to help with labor. So make sure you get a doula. Make sure you get a doula. Um, but the pressure can be, can start in your belly. It can be in your vagina. It can be in your back sometimes if you've ever had people or if you've experienced back labor. Or it can also be in your butt, of course, um, when you're ready to deliver. So it can shift over time. So just understand that it's gonna be different as you labor. But um, yeah, <laughs> um, so to get you kind of an idea of what contractions actually feel like. So contractions start from your back and they come forward. And it'll your whole entire belly will be tight. Your uterine muscles will be contracting. There's also a part of your belly up here. It's called the fundus that is helping push your baby down into the birth canal to um, get the baby to be born, basically. So there's just so many different things that are happening. Um, yeah, if you want me to do a full video on um, Braxton Hicks and contractions and kind of knowing the difference between that, I can but I just wanted to give you like a little preview of what, you know, contractions were actually doing. Now, as the baby comes down the birth canal, that pressure is shifting and changing um, until you get to basically delivery. Labor can 100% take time. Um, it's not like some people do have very quick labors, which is great. And some people don't. So it can take time. So it's important that you have a solid support system around you that can help with um with your labor and help you understand what that actually looks like i'm gonna put on a screen um your pelvis and explaining station station of your baby and how it looks in the pelvis and all those things uh but yeah like it's gonna change the pressure is going to shift and you'll you'll know the difference um a lot of times it'll start like up under your belly it will go to your vagina um, and then you'll eventually feel the need to poop as you get closer to delivery. But remember your doula, don't sleep on it, knows and understands birth so well. So make sure you get one so that you can understand it and you know what your body is going through actually when it's going through it. As you continue to labor, the contractions and um, the pressure will get more intense and all of those things, especially once you switch into active labor. So um, your body will just be going through so many different so many different things. But when you are close to delivery, you will feel the consistent need to poop, even in between um, contractions. It'll be consistent. It won't just be with contractions, it'll be in between. And that's really how you know when it's time to push a baby out. But be careful, because sometimes during labor, you can feel the need to poop. Um, like you can feel the need to poop before you feel like any of the other pressures that I described. And, um, it may not be a baby. It could just be that you need to poop. You'll know the difference. Trust me. You'll a hundred percent know the difference. You this is a huge reason why, um, movement is so important in labor. Laying on your back, not moving around, uh, does not really, um, actually help you, um, with, with, with labor very much. So it's very, very important that you get up, you move around, you squat, you walk, you get on the ball, depending on where you are in labor. It's just really, really important to um, to do all those things while you're in labor. And depending on where that baby is, remember, I, I'm gonna put it up here again, depending on where that baby is in your pelvis, a lot of times you may not want to sit on a ball because the baby could be so low. Um, Again, your doula can really, really help with these things. So make sure you hire a doula. If you're in Orlando, I'm located in Orlando. Um, on my Instagram, I have like my booking information on there as far as like when, what months I'm booked for. I know I'm booked right now for April and May, 
Um, but yeah. And then I think March now too, and um, February, unfortunately. So I'm booked February through through May. Um, June is starting to pick up. So if you're interested and you're in Orlando, Florida, and you're looking for a doula, like click the link in my bio. <laughs> But yeah, that is the end of this video. I just kind of wanted to do a quick video to talk about pressure and contractions and what that actually looks like. Um, when your baby is pretty high, you will feel that pressure up under your belly, remember? And when your baby is pretty low, you'll feel the consistent need to poop, not just with contractions and even not just with contractions, but also in between contractions as well. You'll feel that very strong need to poop. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. The next video is going to be um, about uh, breastfeeding. So make sure you check it out. Bye. See you next week.